It's a beautiful country, I think. Some people call it pearls in the Indian Ocean. It's on the map now. We have a very big tourism sector where millions of people arrive. 95% of Maldives' wealth is owned by 5% of the people. There's a potential for local production and local produce. A lot of people are worried about the extent of the chemical pesticides. Listen to indigenous people. Those who go and negotiate, they have to first go in the water and make themselves wet. Everybody knows it went through a flawed, corrupt process. I don't call it climate change, I call it the climate that we are changing. And nobody knows actually because um, nobody is allowed on the island. Fishermen can't reach out or they can't dive even there. Enriching the soil with natural organic compost and then you have everything work for you. The policy is going against the conservation. I can say that 60% of the corals are gone because corals are actually protecting my parrot and my three cats and my family. We cannot close our eyes and uh, go into you know, oblivion and think, OK, we are always going to have food imported from abroad. The attack needs to be captured, digitized, and make visible to the people. And if you do not support and if you do not encourage women as an economy, as a country, we are about to fail. And we will fight it. If we don't touch, we leave it as it is. I would say Maldives will be the last country to sing.